When using reinforcement learning on legged robots, a common control space is position control, where a target joint pose is supplied by the RL policy and a joint PD controller generates a command torque to track the target pose. However, the gain parameters are often tuned for each robot and every task the robot performs, and this tuning complicated the creation of robot and task agnostic learning. On the other hand, a torque-based deep RL policy directly generates the command torque and requires less parameters to tune. This makes the torque-based deep RL policy to be applied as a general control method on various robot platforms and tasks. In addition, when the reality gap occurs and the joint tracking error increases unexpectedly, the PD controller in the position-based policy tries to reduce the error with all available torque, making large impact force. In this paper, we show that the torque-based policy is less vulnerable to the reality gap by minimizing an impact force thanks to its compliance. In addition, we propose to pre-train the torque-based deep RL policy with a gravity compensation torque to reduce the sample inefficiency. Please refer to the paper for details. By pre-training the torque-based deep RL policy, the robot could stand still from the beginning of training like the position-based policy. Note that the pre-trained robot in the video falls down due to its exploration torque. The learning curve shows that the pre-trained torque-based policy learns at a comparable or faster speed than the position-based deep RL policy and the sample efficiency increased. In experiment 1 and 2, we show that the torque-based deep RL method is suitable for task and robot agnostic learning. To understand the limitations of tuning position controlled policies across multiple tasks, we train position-based deep RL policies across a set of tasks using a single set of PD gain. Although the squat and walking motion could be trained by using the gain of K default divided by 4, the running motion could not be learned with corresponding gain. Instead, a higher gain should be adopted to learn the running motion. In contrast, the torque-based control method did not require further parameter tuning across tasks leading to task agnostic learning. In this experiment, we investigate whether the same gain can be used as the robot platform changes from Takabi to Atlas. In the position-based deep RL policy, Using the gains of Takabi which are verified in experiment 1 to Atlas made the simulation unstable and a separate gain should be tuned for Atlas. In contrast, the same parameter used in Takabi could be simply transferred to Atlas, and no trial and error was required in the torque-based deep RL policy. In the following experiments, we show that the torque-based deep RL policy is compliant and the compliance reduces the reality gap. To compare compliance of both policies, we placed an unexpected obstacle in front of the robot. In the position-based deep RL policy, the unexpected obstacle caused a tracking error and the PD controller generated a large torque leading to large impact force. On the other hand, the torque-based deep RL policy showed compliant motion. The result was the same when implementing on the real robot. In this experiment we examine how compliance in the position-based deep RL policy varies as we adjust the gain. We investigated 25 target velocities and the torque-based deep RL policy never fell down and remained stable at all target velocities. In contrast, the position-based deep RL policy lost balance 10 times and the success rate increased as more compliance is introduced by using lower gains. To examine how compliance contributes to robust SIM to real transfer, we first simulate the reality gap by training both policies without dynamics randomization and then randomizing the parameters in simulation after training is completed. The torque-based policy showed higher robustness by a living with larger sets of parameters and showed better motion quality thanks to its compliance. Lastly, we implemented both polices on the real robot. Both policies experienced early or late contact due to the reality gap. However, the position-based deep RL policy's lack of compliance resulted in a larger contact force compared to the simulation. On the other hand, the torque-based deep RL policy's intrinsic compliance minimized the impact force and effectively overcame the reality gap.